Yo, what's going on guys? Today we're playing some Quinn mid. I'm actually recording this voiceover after we had the gameplay already. And I think this is a better opportunity for me to just give you guys an insight into like what I think and how I play throughout the game and how to play Quinn mid. So a lot of you, I've seen a lot of you asking about how to play her. This is how you do it. So we start off the game with a uh, long sword and three health pots. That's my favorite start. It's the strongest start, I think, and it lets you sustain the longest. We're running with lethal tempo and anyway, we're playing into a Victor right now. And Victor is uh, a kind of a difficult matchup for Quinn mid early. He's really strong all throughout the game, but even early, he's like, he's actually really strong. Um, Quinn is a early game champion. So she relies on snowballing early to get the lead. And so it's really important to take advantage of that and try to get ahead of early. So what you'll see me doing is on the first three waves, what I like to do is try to get an advantage, so then we try to push him in. I don't actually, it doesn't look like I'm gonna do it this one because he's pushing back. But right now, I'm auto attacking like this cannon, and it's really important to try to get a minion advantage early, so then you can push him into his tower, and then you can roam from level three into the jungles or like into river and, you know, contest the jungle. And there I get flashed on uh, by the jungle. I get flashed on by Victor. We get exhausted by Victor as well and we die. It's okay. We actually end up getting the kill on Fiddlesticks, which is great because he actually flashed on us. So it wasn't all for nothing. And even though we, we died first, it's okay. So Victor doesn't recall here. This is something that I noticed. And Mordekaiser's here as well. He's has no summoners and I think we can actually kill him. So what I try to do is I ping Mordekaiser and I just go all in here. I, I throw an ignite down and we actually end up getting the kill. So it's just really important to ping your team, obviously. This isn't just a Quinn tip, but just pinging your team to, if you, if you really believe that you can make a play, um, you gotta let your team know that. And so I made sure that the Mordekaiser knew I wanted to just go for this guy. So right now, after we get that kill, there's no point in staying in mid lane. So what, I, what I'm trying to do is move down to Drake, uh, to Dragon, or Dragon area. Um, Mordekaiser gets caught out. There's really nothing I can do here. I'm low. There's no minions for me to, to take. If I went back into mid lane right now, it would be useless. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and recall and, um, and come back to lane. So now the lane's pretty much frozen because we had, uh, they had a three minion advantage into us. So it should stay, as long as I'm not auto attacking it like I am right now, it should stay right where it's at. But actually what I wanna do is try to push the wave back into him. So then I can have more room to roam. Um, right here, the victor is playing up. I think if we can hit our passive here and then E him, we might be able to catch him out. Mordekaiser flashes in. And just like that, we have two kills now. Even though we died first, we have two kills. That's, that's great. Literally one or two kills on Quinn early is exactly what we want. Now what we want to do is just push this wave out. We want to push it out so he misses minions. And then we can hit this tower a bit. We actually see Fiddle here fighting the Mordekaiser. And just like that, we're now three and one. We took tower plate. Uh, there's really nothing else for us to do here. I imagine that we we could stick around or what I'm thinking right now And I don't exactly know what we do here, but I think we could probably roam bot lane and we do Nope, so since that roam really wasn't that successful all we want to do is just recall buy what we can and Get back to lane. I do have 400 gold here So a lot of people would say, you know, you should buy boots you could buy something, you know, like a long sword but really, none of that's going to add into our um, what we're going to go with Kraken Slayer this game. And so I don't want to buy boots because Quinn actually doesn't need boots until like a little later, until you can actually finish them out to get like an attack speed buff. So um, I try to not buy boots early. I, I really try to avoid buying boots just to save that gold and hit our mythic faster than anybody else in the game. Victor is moving up towards our Mordekaiser. Mordekaiser is fine. So what I'm going to do is just try to push this out as hard as I can. So then it leaves room for me to, to roam again. There's not really a play bot lane. If I look at it right now, there's just no play. And so what I'm gonna try to do is just look around, see if there's maybe a play that we can make on Fiddle. I don't wanna go too far into their jungle just because that's a little risky. So the only play for me to make right here is to farm our own jungle. A lot of times uh, you could take like a red buff or a blue buff, especially if it's the second one and your jungle's not gonna care. This Mordekaiser, I think he has some pretty good faith in me because, you know, we're ahead and uh, he's made some good plays. So we now we can either go to bot lane or mid lane 
I'm looking at bot lane though, because they're actually getting pushed in. We have red buff. We're going to go around all the way. And let's see what we can do here. Good flash by Mumu. We could stop the misfortune ulti with our E. I'm going to go ahead and flash for this because I, I do want to get this kill if I can. I don't get it. Uh, I'm not going to be able to kill Fiddle 6, I don't think, here. So we're just going to go ahead and back. We're 3 1 and 2 now. We helped bot lane get two kills there. And now bot lane's ahead, right? So this is the. The biggest advantage to Quinn mid is that you can roam faster than any champion in the game. Besides maybe a soul. That's a nice catch out. There we go. They should have that pretty free, right? Easy. And then this should be a free Drake because we killed bot lane. The other thing about playing mid, um, oh, it looks like they're fighting. So I'm going to make sure because Victor's missing. So I want to make sure that he's not coming there as well. If he is, I can stop him. His fortune's walking right to us. They pick up a kill there. I want to. I just want to push Victor back. They're really low right now, and I know I can just take Victor one on one now. And notice the farm. We have 65 CS at 10 minutes. I mean that's not great, but we have three kills as well. If we look at Victor, his CS is probably pretty close to ours as well. Um, and so we're able to keep up with him while also roaming and getting all these kills. Oh, he actually stepped up forward. And since we hit Kraken so fast, we just kill him. Let's go. We're now four and one. Now that we killed him and we're going to push this tower, the thing I'm watching for is Fiddlesticks because he just died. He's going to be around here watching. There he is. So he just he just ulted Mordekaiser. Um, see if we can kill him here. Oh, oh, and I I almost entered there. Um, he flashed for me. We're just going to blind him and we killed him. I was honestly really lucky, uh, but it worked out. All right, we have our upgraded boots now, and then we're going to try to build into wit's end. And so now, right off the start, we're just going to go right down in the bot lane and see if there's a play here. Since the, the wave is resetting, you know, they'll be in the middle here. And that's where I like to look for plays, whenever they're in the middle or if they're leaning more towards our side of the lane. Bot lane's being a little aggressive, so I, I don't think we're going to be able to make a play. We're just going to go back to mid lane now. We pick up a cannon wave. Let's go. Half a cannon wave, at least. Um, so now that Fiddlesticks was right there, I just want to make sure that I could get ulted on if he's sitting in this bush. And he is sitting in that bush. So now I'm just, I'm just sticking back as far as I can. So he, he, you know, he couldn't ult me. We'll pick up this wave. We're going to look around top lane. They should have that. That should be pretty free. But what I'm going to look for is a scuttle crab. And really the only thing I try to do is just try to farm, you know, try to get gold. Um... And by any means possible, whether it's kills, whether it's farm, whatever it might be. I don't think I'm going to be able to help there or get the kill. So I'm just going to go back to mid lane. And I know that this gold is secure because that now Victor's gone. And we can just pick this up. Fiddle 6 is here. I see him. And so he's not going to go for the ulti. But if he steps up too close, we might be able to kill him. I try to stop him with my E so he can't fear me away. And we pick up the kill. Okay, so I have a pretty good amount of health still. Um, what I want to do is just look for gold elsewhere. So I'm gonna look. Uh, I'm gonna look in the jungle. Mordekaiser's up in top lane right now, so we're just gonna look in the jungle to pick up more gold while he's gone. Again, I'm not trying to grief him or anything. This is just really just standard. Um, I was gonna recall, but the victor actually pushed the wave in, and so I'm just gonna pick up this wave because we can get there so fast. We're gonna actually be able to catch like basically all of these. There we go. We have Victor on the map. We see Fiddle Six on bot lane. We know where bot lane is. We see Mordekaiser going for that uh, that Herald. And so they don't really need me there yet. So I'm going to go ahead and push this out. So since bot lane died, we know they're going to take Drake here. Fiddle Six doesn't have ulti. We could try to fight this. Let's see. Okay, I'm slowed right here, but I think we can go in. I'm just going to go all the way in, basically. I have flash up, so I know I'm safe. And we're just so strong, man. That was actually... It looked like a triple, but Karthus got our first kill. We want to keep this tempo going. We want to keep the momentum going. And so uh, we want to push out the bot lane. So, uh, you know, we take some tower. We're not just wasting time. We finish our wits end. Wits end's really strong. And then next, this, this build is really crazy. We're going with a hurricane. And this has been like the build that um, Quinn AD, he kind of like started with. And... It has been so strong, man. 
It's been a really, really good build. Uh, he he uses it top lane because Quinn AD is a top laner, but I've been running it mid lane. I want to stay back because I think Misfortune's going to ult here, and she does. And we're just going to go ahead and kill her here. Boom. And then, can he actually get the kill on? Rip. I'm sorry, Tristana. All right, we're just going to go bot lane now and farm up. Victor's in uh, mid lane. We know that Fiddlesticks is like probably around. Maybe he could be here on Gromp. Uh, but no, nope, now we see him on top lane. So now we're just going to make our way here because we're so fast that we can literally make our way to anywhere on the map fast and, and, and get there for the fight. Really good ulti by, uh, by Amumu. Let me pick up a kill there. We're 11 and 2 now. Now we do have our Hurricane. We have Kraken. Witsend and Hurricane, and, and we just clear waves like crazy, but more importantly, we just absolutely dominate team fights now. And remember, all I want to do is just make sure I don't give this shutdown. So even though we're going in here, this Mumu is going in, uh, I'm going to wait. Okay, I'm just going to step back because I, I cannot be dying. If I die, it's, it's a big throw. Let me get all the kills anyway. Okay, so I just saw Yone taking top tower. I think he's going to go to Gromp, and I want to, I'm kind of limit testing here. I want to see if I can take Yone. He's not that strong, he's not that fed, but Yone is like literally just Yone, so. And I agree, and I agree, and he, he lives too. Kind of crazy. He's, he was four and four, and he just beat me 11 and three. So that's how important it is to just make sure whenever you're taking fights on Quinn, to make sure that you like hold your E and just like don't get hit by much because she's still really squishy. They're taking Baron. They're already on it. There's really no point in me going to Baron. Like if they're going to steal Baron, I'm not probably going to make a huge difference. And um, what I'm trying to do is just get ahead in gold by myself. Right. So I'm going to go and take everything else I can. There we go. Get that. Get that. They're killing Yone. And if they kill Yone here. That's huge because he got my shutdown. He's going to be pretty strong. But if they just get a kill on Yone and stop it, yeah. So now they're going to kill his momentum. Okay, I don't want to take that risk in mid lane. But there's a Fiddlesticks right here. Oh, and we just absolutely murder him. He has no chance now. If Misfortune's here, uh, not here, I think we might be able to play. Okay, no. Misfortune's here. We might be able to, like, get a couple of hits in. I just can't get ulted by Seraphine, right? I can't go all in. They're just way too. There's way too much of a front line there with all their CC and area of effect damage. Okay, Fiddle Six is gonna die. We're gonna stop him with our E. If Fiddle Six is ulting or anybody like that that has a channeled ulti, you can stop them with your E. I don't want to get ulted by Misfortune. Mordecai's are ult her. We're gonna go back in here. I know. I know Seraphine doesn't have ulti. And we just absolutely <laughs> annihilate her, man. And they forfeited, and that is Quinn mid. Let me know if you guys have any questions, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.